If you're working off the uh, quad tutorial layout that we built or you're working from the build layout, um, there already is an animation editor up here and you can see if I have the camera selected that it's got all of our keyframes sort of uh, arranged right here. Um, I'm going to just switch back to the scene view and instead of having a render view down here, I'm going to just add a, an additional tab to the right on this plus icon. I'm just going to click that, go to new pane tab type animation, animation editor. And that's going to pull up the same tab down here so just so I can see in my view and my, uh, my curve editor at the same time. So let's just talk about how we can navigate through this uh, curve editor. If you hold down the right mouse button, you can see that you can kind of um, vertically zoom in and out and also horizontally zoom in and out depending on you know what which axes of your mouse you're moving. So that's a nice way you can get around. You can also middle mouse to pan around. So it's very similar to um, some of the controls around here. Um, you know, right mouse click will zoom you in and out in your network view, middle mouse click pans you around. So the same sort of paradigm applies over here. You can actually use this um, this home key right here, this home button, to frame all of your curves like so. And you can also just do uh, things like uh, horizontal framing or vertical framing. You can frame each axis um, individually like that if you'd like to as well. So that's kind of um, some uh, quick ways to you know quickly frame whatever keyframes it is that you want to be working on in your curve editor. So from here, if we want to linearize our keyframes, um, you can see that they all kind of come in with, if I just, uh, we'll focus on rotate Y channel right here and just hit the home key. So I'm just selecting rotate Y. If we wanted to linearize this keyframe, uh, one thing we could do is, I mean, you can grab the, you can grab these handles and just kind of drag them around to try and um, create a linear type of a thing going on right there. Um, you can also um, select both keyframes like so. I'm just going to move these off a little bit. You can select both of these as well and hit this linearize button right there and that will linearize uh, your uh, keyframes. The other thing that you could do is if you uh, switch it back to automatic mode, so clicking this little button right here with it looks like a, a, a blue diamond with a dotted line through it, this will sort of return you to this sort of default kind of ease in, ease out keyframe handles. You can also select both of these keyframes and go down to this function here and instead of Bezier, you could select something like linear and that will also give you a nice linear uh, relationship here. And you can see that the old curve is kind of ghosted behind here and this will allow you to um, kind of revert back and forth between the current animation uh, setup that, you're, that you've tweaked and the old one uh, that you had just before. So I'm just going to set this back to uh, Bezier. So I'm just going to select both keyframes and change the function back to Bezier, like so. And then from here, um, what I want to do is just kind of talk about how these handles and uh, keyframe manipulation works. So here uh, we've got our we've got our handles. So if I select this last keyframe right here and I want to move it, um, you know, maybe shorten it, um, you can grab this bar, this vertical bar that runs through the keyframe uh, will allow you to grab and move the keyframe horizontally only. So if I move my mouse up and down, it doesn't matter. It only is moving across uh, time. And then this other one, this diamond in the middle, the actual keyframe itself, if I grab that yellow diamond, I can only move it up and down no matter where I move my um, mouse. If you do want to move both of them at the same time, I believe if you hold down control, yes. If you hold down control, you can actually move it across both axes, but it is really handy to just be able to know that you're only moving it along one axis or the other, depending on what part of the keyframe you're grabbing. Other things that are handy are um, working with um, your handles and your slopes and stuff like this. So you can see down here that you can actually, we can actually directly change what frame our keyframe is on by, uh, you know, setting it down here. We could set it to 60 and that'll actually move it. Um, or you can do something like um, you can change the value of it down here. We could change that to like, you know, uh, 20, something like that. Like so. And you can see that we're actually able to manipulate the and as well as the slope of the uh, handle coming in and out. We could set the slope like that if we wanted to. Obviously, you'll mostly probably just be grabbing your slopes and moving them like so uh, by, you know, holding on to these handles and whatnot. But just so you know, those little functions down there are available. I'm just going to undo that back into where it was before. And another thing that you can do uh, from this view is actually uh, add keyframes. So if you hold down alt and click, you're adding a keyframe right there in um, the middle of your uh, channel like so. I'm going to undo that. And um, 
another thing about uh, the keyframe handles like this is that if you have like a keyframe, you know, handle uh, like so, you can actually hold down control and drag and that'll actually lock its slope while you're dragging your keyframes like that. And other than that, um, there's, there, you know, you can break your uh, keyframe handle weights by hitting this button and that'll actually allow you to, if I grab this keyframe right here and click that break there, each weight will be able to be moved independently. And if you want to unify them, you can hit that button on the left right here. This one's tie handles back together and then they will sort of follow each other uh, as you move them. So I'm going to just, uh, let's back out here so we can see all of our keyframes. I'm going to select all of them and linearize them. As you can see what that does is it sets all of the slopes for all of our um, keyframes to uh, be a linear sort of push. Um, I, I tend to like to work with uh, the Bezier function if I can and just set my linear values that way. So now if I play back, you can see the camera has just this nice uh, push through like so.